So, about 11 hours ago, King Tut was on this uh, food plot throughout the evening. And so he's been here 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, and today. Six days in a row. And that dead tree laying on the edge of the field is 172 yards away. And at just before 5 a.m. this morning, he was dogging a doe, believe it or not, and uh, he followed her off the field right into that uh, lowdown. Oh, got, I have a camera over there, so that's how I know that. It's pretty cool. So I hung my uh, my lone wolf .75 here, and I've I just hung it today. And the wind's out of the west-northwest, but on occasion it comes out of the straight north and it hits this tree line and runs parallel to the, to the tree line and goes straight south. And I can't have that. It's west-northwest or west, and it stays that direction, even southwest. I'll be downwind in the field completely. It's fine. They come out anywhere in this field for an evening hunt, and, uh, I mean, hopefully it'll be a done deal. But um, So I can't really hunt in my other stand that's only... Oh gosh, it's like 65 yards away, 70 yards away from here. Um, but the wind's not ideal, so as they say, it's better to hunt a marginal spot with a better wind than a great spot with a poor wind, so. I just grunted to him in my voice. <clears throat> 38 yards. <laughs> now if King Tut will just do that, it'd be golden. start. 